Hello everyone, this is Pastor Alan Hathaway. I thought I'd give you a preview of my series of uh, sermons for the month of July. Uh, we're going to be looking particularly at the book of Galatians. Galatians is among the earliest of the Apostle Paul's writings. It is likely written sometime around A.D. 49, though, of course, I have to admit this is disputed. Paul and Barnabas had completed their first missionary journey late in the year 48 or early in the year 49. Following them were teachers who tried to convert the, re the recent Gentile uh, believers to become Jewish proselytes in addition to their Christian faith. Paul's response is forceful and unequivocal. Becoming Jewish made you no more of a Christian. In fact, if by following the law, uh, the Jewish law, a person negated the concept of the grace given to us in Christ and substituted for it the concept of covenantal responsibility as a basis of salvation, one was actually, as Paul indicated, in a worse situation as far as salvation went. Paul is not opposed to people observing Jewish custom or other customs as long as observing these customs does not negate the grace of Christ or violate a person's commitment to Christ. In truth, if I as a Christian believe that I must observe Jewish custom in order to be saved or enforce this on other Christians, then I am in violation of God's grace found in Christ and guilty of, at the very best, hypocrisy and, at the very worst, betrayal of my fellow believers. However, my freedom in Christ is not a license to do as I want, but rather the freedom to live above the law as a responsible citizen of the New Jerusalem above. The code of conduct for a citizen of the New Jerusalem is based on two commitments that I make before Christ. Love God with all that is within me and love my neighbor as myself. This concept is called responsible freedom. A libertine view of the world says, I am not responsible beyond my own desires or opinions. This is the essence of anarchism, or as the New Testament identifies it, antinomianism or lawlessness. Many equate anarchism with the ultimate pinnacle of freedom. But anarchists believe that freedom is, has no responsibility beyond the opinion of the person or the moment in which they live. It is clear why such freedom leads directly to abuse of other people and ultimately oppression aimed at controlling those abuses. Paul, 15 years later, would write another book, the Book of Romans. The impetus, of course, had changed, but the central principles of his concept of Christian freedom had not. In Romans chapter 8, verse 2, we read these words, For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. In the month of July, we will look at how law and freedom interact in the life of the Christian. On July 5th, our thought is, as Christians, we are blessed by the work of the Holy Spirit that creates within us a sense of responsibility and purpose. The message will be entitled, True Freedom is Born in Responsibility, from Galatians chapter 3, verses 2 and 3. July 12th, our thought then will be, law and order in our lives is a guard to protect us from doing great evil and to prepare us for personal responsibility. The message title will be, Why Do We Have Law and Order? From Galatians chapter 3, verses 22 through 25. On July the 19th, our thought 
will be, as Christians, our freedom in Christ gives us privileges as God's children and citizenship in heaven, with the message title of The Power of True Freedom, from Galatians chapter 3, verses 26 through 29. And on July 26th, our thought will be the danger of freedom in Christ is that we become tentative in our faith and convictions, and our message title will be Living in Freedom, Galatians chapter 4, verses 8 through 9. I hope you will join us at the Garrison Church of God or the Riverdale Community Church for this series. God bless you and enjoy your freedom in Christ.